Hello young artists, welcome back to another episode of Art for Kids Sunday. Today we're going to be drawing the Disney character Pluto. So let's get started. So today we have our sketch pencil, our eraser in case we make a mistake, and only three colors. We have black, we have a orangish yellow, and a red, and that's all we're going to need today. So let's put those to the side and get our sketch pencil and let's get started. So step one, we want to create a kind of an M shape. So let's like just like the letter M and that's going to be the top of Pluto's head. So I'm going to start it maybe about right here and we're just going to go up kind of like a McDonald's sign, huh? Maybe about like that. So just like a McDonald's sign. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to come out right here. And we're just going to make kind of a rounded shape about down to there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Try to match them. So about like that. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create like a little circle-like thing, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to do one more. Just like that. So we just got some an, a big M, big McDonald's M here. We got a kind of a rounded shape here, a little rounded shape there, and then a, a little bit bigger rounded shape there. And that's it. That is step one. Okay, let's move on to step two, and this is gonna be his face, the bottom of his face part. So we're gonna do is create like a like a little line, a, a curved line, like his smile. And one right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna come out. And curve it around like that. I want these to try to be the same. I think that one's a little bit fatter than I want it, so we'll fix that. And then we're gonna come up and back down and then around like that. So these are not even, so I'm gonna try to sketch this where it looks a little more even. And we'll see what that looks like. Hmm. No, I think that's good. So we can clean up some of this stuff where we'll know where our main line is going to be. Yep. There we go. We got it. Okay. So that is step two done. The next thing we're going to do is step three. And this is going to be his bottom of his mouth here. So we're just going to do kind of a U shape. We're going to come down and back up. Just like that. Very simple. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is do one on the outside of that. But following along that same curve. And just like that. Okay, and that is step three done. Step four is going to be his tongue. So his tongue's going to be hanging down here. We're going to have it hanging down about like that. So just make kind of a, a rounded shape just like that. And then we're going to start up here. And we're going to create another rounded shape that's going to come down right here in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to come out right here and match up with this line here. All right, so I can erase that part right there. And actually, we can erase the mouth portion here in the middle because the tongue's going to be hanging over the bottom of his mouth right there. Okay, I think that's good. There's his tongue in. So that is step four done. Let's do his ears next. That's going to be step five. And we're going to have the ears coming out of that tiny circle that we made. So we're going to have one line coming out right here, and we're going to have another one on the inside of it, so maybe like that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. One right there, and then maybe another one right there. Okay, and then their ears are going to be coming 
So kind of imagine if you continued that line. You can even draw it very, very lightly so you can tell where it's going to be at. And then we're just going to have his ears come down. And kind of like that. So that one right there should meet up with the other one that's up there. So again, if you wanted to, you could just kind of lightly sketch that in to make sure that they're lining up correctly. And then we can take out that here in a minute. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. So you're going to have another ear hanging down. About like that. Okay, so that is step five done. His ears are in. Let's go ahead and work on his eyes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a rounded shape where his eyes are going to sit on. And it's going to come out right here where that little smile mark is. So we're going to start here. We're going to curve up a bit and then we're going to come back down on the other side. So just a little curve shape, just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is going to put in his eyes. His eyes are going to come up to about right here and right here maybe I think like that and then they're gonna actually touch here in the middle so we we got where we want them to go up to and now we're just gonna bring it down just like that perfect and then the line here in the middle that's going to separate the two eyes is just going to come down there in the middle. Just like that. That's good. Okay, so we got his eyes in. Let's go ahead and put in his eyeballs now. So we're just going to have two little rounded shapes down here in the bottom. So we're just going to come up just like that. Very simple. We'll do another one over here. And there's his eyeballs in. Very good. Okay, and then let's put in little detail lines while we're here. Let's do maybe a line like that and one over here too. So give little crinkles around his eyes. So that's step seven. Let's move on to step eight. So we're going to put a, another line like we did where the base of his eyes was set on. And we're going to do another one right under it. Just like that. Just going to be a little kind of a wrinkle. And then we're going to put in his nose. So his nose is going to be kind of big. Maybe like that. And then we're going to have a line coming down the middle of it, down to the lip. Just like that. That's good. Okay. And then let's put in some whiskers right here. We'll put a couple here and let's put some little dots and then we'll do we'll do three on this side I'm gonna put three little dots here all right and last thing is the top of his head we're just gonna do a little curve line just like that and there is our Pluto sketch we're all done okay so let's get into the coloring process now and I guess the, the main part is going to be the yellowish color right here, which is going to be the main part of his skin here. So not the ears. The ears are going to be black, so we're going to keep that black. And not the eyes, of course, and the, the black parts of the eyes. Nose is going to be black, too, and the tongue's going to be red, and the inside of his mouth is going to be black. So everywhere else, we want to do a yellowish color. So this is the part I'm probably going to speed the video up, so you guys can pause it if you'd like. And start the video again when you're done coloring yours. Okay, we got our yellow part done. Let's do, I guess, his tongue next. 
So this, this part right here only. Okay, the tongue is done. All right, let's take our black and this is gonna be everything else. So we're gonna do the ears, we're gonna do the inside of his mouth and his nose and his eyes. But before you do the eyes, let's make a little eye shine right here and right here. So just draw two little tiny circles there in the middle of the eyes and we're gonna color around that. We're gonna leave that part open. So maybe also on the nose. Let's do a little shine on the nose here. Make a big oval right there in the center and then we'll color everything else around that. So just keep that, that, and that white. Okay, so let's do that next. and we have all of our coloring done. Now let's start on the last process, which is gonna be the outline. So everywhere that you drew a pencil line, we're going to do it in black also. So let's get started on that. I'm gonna start off on the top of his eyes here. We'll do our little McDonald's M here. All right, and then I'll just go ahead and do the top of his head part here. Very good, and then let's do the sides of his ears or the head right here. Just like that, and then our little bitty circle. And then the little bit larger one there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and do his eyes next. Okay, then I'll do this, we'll do this eye over here, very good, and I'm going to push a little bit harder and see if I can get an outline on the eyes here. There we go, just make them stand out a little bit, and then maybe the ear here, get those in. That's good. Okay, and this bridge of his nose right there, and then the other little line under it. And then let's do the nose. So again, push a little bit harder so we can get a, a kind of a darker outline around the nose. All right, and then the line going down to his lip here. Okay, and the little smiley marks right there. And then the cheeks. Just like that, and then let's do these little whiskers here, and those three little black dots. We'll do these over here, and again, three little black dots. Very good, let's do the inside of the mouth here. And then the outside. Okay, and then I'm going to do the tongue. Here we go. Looking really good. And I think the only thing we got is the ears down here. Here we go, and we'll do this one.
and that will do it. You know what? I'm gonna make this a little bit. This white part here. I'm gonna put a little outline around it too. Here we go. All right, guys, that is it. So there is your finished project. We have Disney's Pluto. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, hit the little bell icon so you'll get a notification of when I upload new videos, but they come out every Sunday. Hence the name Art for Kids Sunday. And with that, I will see you next week. Keep creating. Take care.